Welcome to Geovis Plus channel. As of today, various battles have been fought between Russia and Ukraine and high precision strikes are underway. Today we will briefly see few online sources mapping the Russia-Ukraine crisis through maps. One of them is the Center for Information Resilience, CIR. The Russia-Ukraine Monitor map is a crowdsourced effort by Center for Information Resilience, CIR, in the wider open source community to map, document and verify significant incidents during the conflict in Ukraine. Its aim is to provide reliable information for policymakers, journalists as well as justice and accountability bodies about the evolving situations both on the ground and online. The Linkit, Mnemonic and the Conflict's intelligence team have also begun to contribute to the map in recent days. The map is publicly viewable on both desktop and mobile end, as of February 24, has had almost 500,000 views. A first look at the map shows that there are a lot of pins. Each one represents an incident or event depicted through video, photo, or commercial satellite imagery and has undergone a rigorous verification process to identify where and when it was taken. The verification work is carried out by open source investigators as well as the wider community through the processes of geolocation and chronolocation. Once collected from social media, the content is logged in a central database where the material is archived for future use by researchers, reporters as well as justice and accountability bodies. Another source is ArcGIS Story Maps website. The Story Maps beautifully presents Ukraine invasion map by locating clashes and battles reported by the Ukrainian armed forces and social media accounts. Some of the areas pointed on the map include Bilovodsk, Severodonetsk, Oktyrka, Konotop. Vinitsa, Yasin. The capital Kiev is included. Places Kiev, such as Irpin, Baja, Vorzvo, and Hostomol are also displayed. Another wonderful map is shared by Reuters Graphics. It shared second week's invasion status by indicating four major axes of attack. Number 1. Kiev Axis, Russia's main advance on the capital, a huge armored column, stretching for miles along the road to Kiev has been largely frozen in place for days, Western governments say, but shelling has continued in the capital, Kharkiv Axis, although under siege, Kharkiv has not yet fallen to Russian forces. Number 3, Donbas Axis, Russian-backed separatists in the eastern province of Luhansk said a Ukrainian missile had blown up an oil terminal in the town of Robinki. Number 4, Crimea Axis, Mariupol City Council said Russian forces were constantly and deliberately shelling vital civilian infrastructure, leaving it without water, heating or power. I hope you liked today's video, subscribe to our channel to get mapping updates and enrich your geospatial skills.